This is Net News Network headline news in three minutes for Friday, April 15th, 2022. The New York Police Department is looking for a man who attacked and sexually assaulted a 59 year old woman on a Brooklyn street as vehicles pass by. The NYPD said on March 31st, 2022, at 12 30 p.m. in the afternoon, the individual slapped the victim, ripped the victim's pants and underwear and proceeded to sexually abuse her. Meanwhile, cars, and this is all on a security camera, and I've watched it, cars are driving by, and what appears to be a city-owned street sweeper goes right around them, and just nobody stops. Nobody stops to help. What is wrong with you people in New York? You like to just ignore these things going on, people being abused and assaulted and sexually assaulted. You people have no compassion or morals. The FDA has authorized an emergency use for the first COVID-19 diagnostic test that detects chemical compounds in breath samples. That's right, a COVID-19 breathalyzer test. Tests can be performed in environments where the patient is where the patient's specimen is both collected and analyzed, such as doctors, offices, hospitals, and mobile testing sites, using an instrument about the size of a piece of carry-on luggage. Test is performed by a qualified, trained operator under the supervision of a healthcare provider licensed or authorized by state law to prescribe tests and can provide results in less than three minutes. How long before we are being pulled over for COVID-19 infection, just like a DUI? They'll take you to get your COVID breathalyzer test. The city of Shanghai, China is on lockdown. That's 26 million people, in case you didn't know, for COVID-19, where they've taken a zero tolerance policy to having anybody with COVID-19. Residents in a housing complex there clashed with health authorities on Thursday after they tried to block a government-mandated requisition of buildings to house COVID-19 patients amid the outbreak. The city has been on lockdown for weeks, the rare protest footage of which was live-streamed and later widely circulated on social media before it was scrubbed by censors comes amid mounting public frustration over the lockdown in Shanghai, China's financial center. The city of 26 million is at the center of China's worst outbreak since the start of the pandemic and a major test of the country's dynamic zero COVID strategy. Footage of the incident at a residential compound in Shanghai, uh, Pudan District, showed people in white hazmat suits labeled police wrestling residents to the ground and leading several away toward a white van. A state-owned development company that owns the compound said in a statement that five buildings had already been converted into isolation facilities for people with confirmed COVID-19 infections, and there were plans to requisition nine more. The requisitions said somehow only forced 39 tenants to abruptly move to other parts of the compound, but they had been provided compensation. The world has gone nuts, folks. On a side note, people who are taken away for infections, if they have pets, the government is destroying the pets rather than find a way to take care of them. And they want communism to come to the U.S., some of your fellow Americans, I mean. And modern Hitler Vladimir Putin has warned NATO that if Sweden and Finland join the U.S.-led military alliance... Then Russia would deploy nuclear weapons and hypersonic missiles in a European exclave. Finland, which shares a 1,300 kilometer border with Russia and Sweden, are considering joining the NATO alliance. Finland will decide the next few weeks. Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, said that should Sweden and Finland join NATO, then Russia would have to strengthen its land, naval, and air forces in the Baltic Sea. Medvedev also explicitly raised the nuclear threat by saying that there could be no more talk of nuclear-free Baltic, where Russia has its Kaliningrad exclave sandwiched between Poland and Lithuania. Oh, who's sick and tired of Russia? Hey, I've got an idea. Instead of all this talk about Russia 
or China dropping an EMP on the U.S., why don't we just drop an EMP on Russia and send them back to the Dark Ages and just be done with it? Also, real quick, Biden recently said that he was a professor before he became president. And the reality is, in 2017, Biden accepted an honorary professor position, formerly referred to as a the Benjamin Franklin Presidential Practice Professor. And although he has taught a few classes or seminars, he rarely appears on campus. He does not teach regular classes. He's not a real professor. Big shock. In the same press conference, he said what most people don't realize, that 70% of the inflation uh, hike in America is because of Putin's price hike. Putin's price hike. What is that? Joe Biden is the quintessential politician, completely full of sh- This has been Net News Network Headline News in three minutes. For more, visit netnewsnetwork.net. Have a great Easter weekend. I hope you get to spend it with your friends and family. See you next week.